Ready, set, go. Well, guys, back at it again. Uh, we're going to title this video uh, The Self-Inflicted Problems That I Caused While uh, uh, Putting a Supercharger on a 3000 GT. So, as the last video, you've seen uh, I slash cut the pulley, which after the ribs ripped off, and I got to thinking about it, the slash cut when the belt started slipping it was catching these teeth and it walked the belt off the inside so I can explain that uh, when I was turning the pulley I felt like it had a little bit of a thump or a kind of a catch to it very lightly so then I decided hey, let me pull the supercharger out of the car and I pulled the rotors out and look what I found the rotors had been beating the piss out of each other as they've been spinning and so then I got to thinking, okay, I had these rotors recoded, uh, rebuilt, put all new bearings in the supercharger. But, you know, of course, learning as I go, there's nothing on the internet that really tells you how to, you know, what kind of gap you need between the rotors and the faceplate, what kind of gap uh, you need in between the rotors, because these things are supposed to almost touch each other, you know, maybe a ten thousandths of clearance in between them. Um, but... I didn't know what that was, so you know I stuck feeler gauges in here when I was pressing the timing gears on. Uh, had feeler gauges in between the rotors just to give them a little bit of a space, but I had to take the timing gears off, you know, three if not four times. And if you've ever seen these rotors, uh, they they have small uh, knurls on the shafts that the gear presses onto and then it kind of holds it in place and I think by taking those gears off a couple times four times however many times I did it um, they allowed these rotors to slip inside the gears that are inside of here and so while the car was probably under vacuum or something these rotors slightly turned and started hitting each other and just got damaged but if I look inside uh, inside here everything seems to look pretty good inside of there um so what i did is i went i got online car part car dash part.com and i found this supercharger because i used a, a supercharger that came out of a gm um this one came out of an 04 i was excited they wanted 125 bucks for it uh, it was a low mile under 100 under 100 000 miles i was just going to pull the rotor pack out of this one put it in this one but then I got home after driving two hours round trip and realized that mine did not come off in 04. This one has a different bolt pattern than mine does. So it wouldn't work on mine even though it's an Eaton M90. So I'm just going to put this in the attic and keep it. May sell it. I don't know. But right now I got my hands on it. So I went yesterday. Drove another couple hours round trip and got this guy which is the one that came on my car. My car had the 97 Eaton M90. This one only had 50,000 miles on it. And the rotors look really good in this one. All the bearings feel really good. So what I'm going to do now is measure, measure the clearances inside of here. Make sure that they're uh, the same as what's in mine. And then I'm just going to take that rotor pack and drop it straight into mine. So also while this was going on, uh, I went back with the first pulley that I had on here. Uh, this was the alternator pulley, which is slightly larger. So it has more surface area. And I had it milled at a machine shop. So that these are straight cut. Um, that's what I saw a lot of online was everybody was straight cutting, not slash cutting or angle cutting. So that if the belt slips on this, it'll stay in line and it won't walk off. Um, and I know this had to have been my problem because I had seven, little over 700 miles on this pulley. And it didn't throw a belt until I put these slash cuts in it. So that's what I'm doing today. Putting a new rotor pack in here. 
after I check all my clearances, putting this pulley on, and then uh, putting it all back in the car. And we'll see where we go from here. So I'll see you guys here in a little bit. And here it is all back together. Got my new pulley on, my new belt on. Got my new rotor pack in. Need to do a little cleaning up. She's got a little bit of dirt and dust on her. But she's running all right. I'm hitting the knock sensor a little bit uh, when I'm getting into the higher RPMs, but uh, I'm not completely tuned yet. Hopefully that'll come really soon. And then we're going to get a dyno run. See you guys on the next video.